G'day everyone, I am very excited because I've cleared the way for the arrival of a very, very exciting new toy. It's not a toy, it's a very serious piece of hardware. This is where my new laser cutter is gonna go. I also got this platform built. I wanted to raise the level a bit and also I wanted a big platform. It seems it seemed logical at the time. It's okay, it just lifts up the working area. I'm sure it's gonna be exactly perfect. Plus I can do this. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that because it's a very serious piece of machinery. So that's the machine, it's bigger than I expected. So the platform may be irrelevant. Also, as a stroke of luck, we've had our driveway repaired on the day of its delivery. So we have to push it all the way up the driveway. on the website, I thought it would fit like on a desk. <laughs> but I was looking at a model down and then, cause I'm usually a little bit over the top, I saw the specs of the next model up and the 100 watt laser and I got this one. <laughs> We're gonna make some cool stuff or I'll break it today. Let's find out. <laughs> it's the most serious piece of machinery I've ever looked at, let alone owned. <laughs> it's not overkill, is it? Definitely not. <laughs> so that's the laser. So can you very roughly explain how it actually works? So you've got normal uh, 240 volt power. Yeah. And it comes into a power supply and then you've got yeah. capacitors that take your 240 volt uh, power and they turn into 50,000 volts. Whoa. And then uh, you've got the positive and the negative yeah. and it goes through the gases and it creates a laser infrared charge and then it shoots out and goes through the mirrors and then through the focal lens. So this is like the ink cartridge to a printer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds, I hope. This is the laser transported to us from the future. It turns a certain amount of watts into a lot more watts. That's the technical, how it works technically. So what are we doing now? Don't ask me, I don't know. It's magic, magic, we're doing magic. So where's the laser so coming you, from? You've got the, the laser, it comes out the back there. Yeah. And then through that back hole, it yeah. shoots through there and then it hits this mirror. Oh. And then it bounces like, through that mirror. You're you kidding. Mirror here. So it's not just coming out there, it's like bouncing around in there. So like you can't, go like that because it'll cut your yeah, hand exactly. off. Well, it'll just burn you. Let's say something catches fire, which is, I'm assuming, entirely possible with a machine like this. To use like a fire extinguisher, I don't trust myself with things that relate to fire or burning. So it, it's using concentrated fire to cut something. Okay. So you do have to. So let's say I do something stupid. How do I rescue the situation? Switch the machine off, yep. stop it from burning. But you have to work pretty hard to do that. Uh, I'm a hard worker. So this is light burn. This is gonna be the best way to get Illustrator files or vector files or SVGs or whatever into this to be cut. So I saw you calibrating with this thing. You laser cut that. Look at that. You can do the engraving and the cutting. Acrylic. Oh, we're gonna have fun. So now I've just created a square and I've just sent it to the machine. And uh, there it is right there, test. The yep. one main thing that uh, Lightburn is amazing at is a little bit of like nesting. 
or tracing vector files and things like that. Can we try that? Can you show me? Uh, yeah. If I grab a picture. Yeah. That, that one's pretty good. Yeah, Let's do it. Open it up and then you go to tools, trace image. Yep. Okay. And then I select my image again and I delete it. Yep. And I just have my face. Whee. Yep. I hold control down no so worries. I can make it bigger. Can you make me a face coin? We're making a cartoon coin. It's going to be, it's Oh, worth it. a face of yours. Yep. That's it. That's all I want in my life. Yeah. So then I can just select my outside line and then I can go to this key up here, offset shapes. Select that one. Great. Let's go outwards. Let's go two millimeters. Yep. What I want to do is I want to cut that, that out. One, yeah. Okay, so now what is it going to do? It's going to be cutting the black line out. It's going to be engraving the blue line. Yep. And it's going to be just doing a light line on the red. Let's just double check the, the preview. Yeah, that's looking good. It's saying about three minutes. It's not taking three hours. Yep. Now I can see my laser is ready and I uh, send it. Yeah. Seven yeah. millimeter facing towards me, the operator. I can raise my table and lower my table yeah. to come up close enough, set my height, and I position my sheet where I want it to sort of sit. So you tell it where to start. Turn off there, yep. So that's how the laser works. It, it's yeah. like a magnifying glass. So it directs the beam of the laser through that lens. But because the we hadn't didn't start the fan off with our first cut, it dirtied the lens. So the beam was then not strong. That's why our first attempt is uh, less effective. You can see it started off, and then as the lens got dirty, less effective. So give it a clean and give it another go. The lens was the issue with the first one, which is why we didn't get a clean engrave. And we think the reason we didn't get the lines is because we just didn't set the settings to be aggressive enough. So this is attempt number two. So if we do a sample one without the engraving and just do the lines. Ready, fan, start. One, dirty lens, cleaned it up. Two, lines weren't powerful enough. Three, just did the lines, a little too powerful. We're gonna mix these two. We're gonna drop the power of the lines, engrave it, and I think we'll have it just right. Yeah. This is the magic one, I can feel it. There he is, all right, boom. This is it, this is the last one. Final cut, I think fourth time was the charm. Look at that. I'm gonna give it a quick wash. Look at that. So I, I still think that those the engraving lines are probably still a little still heavy. a little bit heavy. So little tweaks to go, but otherwise like that's 90% there and that's very fast progress. And the cool thing is because we went through those phases, I understand how to make those changes. So thank you very much, James, for your help today. This is so crazy and exciting. I guess we'll uh, put this thing into position and then we have a big ass laser cutter to make some cool stuff with. I love it. This is so cool. So now's the fun bit because I mean, I've figured out the basics. I'll learn over time, but I can start to play. So I'm gonna do a video later where I experiment and make some cool art with this thing. But I wanna know what you guys think I should try and make or build or create using I, I have this now. So I'll show you the stuff I've got to get started with. Got plenty of different laser ready ply materials. And of course, I got a whole bunch of acrylics, but I've got red, blue, gold, black, 
white and there's a clear one. And then we have these. 600 by 900 laser ploy. These are much thicker. I'm excited, can you tell I'm excited? It's a fun material, isn't it? Make little coins and chips and, I don't know, I just feel like a child on Christmas day with a very unnecessary and exciting toy. <laughs> That's it, that was a full on day to get this thing set up and then also figure out how to use it. I've, I feel like I've gotten the handle on most of the basics, but it's certainly gonna be a time involved process. This is the thing I, I have in my shed now. Cause I'm an adult and I make decisions like this. Sorry, honey. <laughs> but with that said, I mean, this is just the first sample little thing we made and I can make layers of art with colored acrylics. I can build functional objects and, and like actual constructions out of timber. I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to seeing your suggestions and making stuff. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more fun with art and creativity and adventures with just random exciting stuff. Otherwise, till next time, see you later.